Coming off a 15-win season, one that started fast but had a disappointing finish, UMass men's basketball has its sights set on turning things around and putting together a winning campaign in 2011-2012. It starts with three straight home games over the season's first week. Hello and welcome to the Mullen Center for the show this week. Coming up, we'll have football, hockey, and women's soccer, but this is our basketball season to preview, so let's get right to the hardwood, where head coach Derek Kellogg is bringing a new style of play to the Minutemen for this upcoming season, and he feels like he has the horses to pull it off. With a look at the 2011-2012 Minutemen, here's Ezra Broder. Derek Kellogg's fourth season at UMass is bringing change. They really are, have enjoyed the uh, style of practice and also the style of play, and um, I think you'll see uh, a change out of some players on the floor. Some guys have really uh, flourished in, in the game and in the practice. Kellogg's tweaked his coaching staff and his team's style of play. The dribble drive offense is now a thing of the past. We're a totally different team from, from previous years, so everybody's going to see. We have a balance now. We have a, a balance. We have a, 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 a consistent point guard now He's going to be here with us throughout the rest of the season. You know, it's always been an issue with us. We're going to try to impose our defensive will on some, some basketball teams and hope, hopefully they'll play a little faster, which in turn will uh, help our offense, which is going to be a little bit faster paced. We're going to look to shoot a little bit quicker in the shot clock. Instead, the Minutemen will run an up-tempo offense, looking to speed up the game rather than slow it down. I like it a lot. Uh, my teammates also like it a lot. It's, it's great for, for the athletes that we have on the team and the abilities that we have on our team. So we're just looking forward to running. That's one of my strong points in my game. So this is, I'm used to this. When he was like, this year we're going to get up and down the court and fly. And I was happy about it. And like, it's, it's going to compliment everybody on the team because we're a really athletic, fast team. In particular, some of the newcomers should thrive in the new offense. Transfer point guard Chaz Williams, redshirt Maxi Isho, and big man Caddy Lulane. Maxi Isho, who set out last year, has uh, really matured physically and, and also mentally. He's probably one of the better athletes um, we've had here in a long time. You know, Caddy uh, Lulane um, is a big guy and a big presence, who I'm hoping can you know, score a few baskets in the post and give us a, a presence on the defensive end of the floor. Outside of the five foot nine Williams and the two big men, UMass has nine different players between 6'5 and 6'9. Kellogg says he'll use that to his advantage. I think that poses some uh, matchup problems for teams when you sub three or four guys and they're almost as good or as good or better than the group you just took out. Um, that poses some problems if we can impose that, that kind of pace on teams. Despite the optimism from within, UMass's own conference predicted the Minutemen to finish 12th out of 14 teams. You know, you either take it as maybe you're not very good or uh, you've been slighted a bit and these guys are, are playing with a little bit of a chip on their shoulder. They don't mean much to me because I know what the team is capable of and I know that they're ranking us basically on what we did last year. I'm expecting us to, uh, to shock a lot of people this year. We put a lot of, a lot of work in this summer and just from the spring to the summer and even through the fall, we put a lot of work in so, so we're definitely, definitely going to uh, pay off soon enough. For UMass Sports Insider, I'm Ezra Broder.